Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next craft fair idea. Okay, y'all, you remember back in the day when you were a kid, I mean, I'm 54. So I remember when I was a teenager, trapper keeper notebooks were very popular, y'all. They were a little bit larger than this, the one I created. But, you know, I mean, I thought there are traveler's notebooks. There's all different sizes, but I've never seen one that's going to fit the composition books. Now, this composition book came from a Dollar Tree. And so I wanted to make a cover for these and make it like a traveler's notebook. But I wanted to put a flap on it so it would hold everything in. Now this one is just basic. I created this last night. I have not decorated it up, but I wanted to show you, you know, what I look, what it looks like. Let me see if I can get y'all up just a little bit. Okay. So what you do is you just pull off the elastic here and voila, you open up. And like I said, I have not decorated it, but look, I've made a pocket folder large enough to fit this. And I was able to put in two of these composition notebooks in here. And I even have enough elastic to put another pocket folder in here, y'all. And the nice thing is, is I don't have the elastic coming out the end. I have it coming off the side like this. And it holds my flap closed. So, let me just show you how I did this, y'all. I had to sit here and I played around with it and played around with it until I finally got the dimensions that I wanted. So, I think I got it. I'm using this fl Navy Florals paper pad. And, uh, yeah, I just got this a Tuesday morning. I loved it so much. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go with this one. Okay. So, let's just get started. I've got to grab... I'm going to grab my clear packet, uh, my clear pouches to, so I can laminate these. For the cover, you're going to need two pieces of paper measuring, measuring 10 by 8 and a half. 10 is the height, 8 and a half is the width. You're going to also need another piece of paper and this is 10 by 3 and a half. So whenever you cut off the eight and a half, this is what's left on here. I had to make the extra edge because I wanted to put the flap on here. So that's why I did this. And the reason I had to cut it off and not leave it as one long piece and just score it is because it doesn't fit in my laminator. Um, so I had to cut these where I was able to fit these in my laminating machine. And you'll see how I combined it all and put it together. Okay, so. Before I get, go any farther, let's go ahead and do some scoring. So we're going to have one of these as the front and one as the back. I'm going to line this up and I'm going to score. I'm going to score over here at seven and seven eighths. Okay. So seven and seven eighths is right about here. And this one will be for my back because there's the flap. So since this one is the same. I'm going to flip it around since I have a directional print or I have a print that I want to make sure that I have it correctly. Okay, so now that I've got this, all I'm going to need to do is fold on my score lines. Get this pressed down really good. Let me get the other one. So you're going to make sure that if you have directional print, you score on the opposite end of each one. Okay, so there we go for that. Let me just press it down really good. Now I'm going to get these in my uh, laminating sleeves. We'll get both of these laminated. Okay. I can't wait to start decorating up the one that I made. I think it's going to be beautiful when I'm done. Pretty excited about that. Okay, so let's get these in our laminating, our laminating sheet. 
Then I'm trying to make sure I've got it pretty much centered. I'll get this, y'all. Maybe I'll do it this way. Okay. I'm just going to go down here at the edge. Just want to make sure I got it in the middle. And voila, finally got it. I'm going to get this one thrown into my laminating machine, and I'll do the other one. And when, I get, when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks okay. like. So I've got both of my pieces laminated. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of kind of fold on that crease. Sorry about my laminator, it's making a noise here, y'all. I think it's vibrating against something. So I went ahead and I folded it carefully. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fold the other one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other piece too while I've got my laminator on. So let's get that one. This one is the three and a half by, by 10. I'm gonna get a sheet here to put this in. I don't know if you remember one of the tutorials, a tutorial that I did on how to make your own little pockets, like the Target pockets. This would be a great way to utilize that tutorial because since it's bigger, you wanna be able to have a nice big clear pocket in there. So this would be a great way for you to utilize that um, and make a big old pocket in there. So I'll link the video of how I made that pocket below in case you want to make a larger pocket. You can make them any size you want with the technique that I used. Okay, got this coming out. And almost done. The only thing I didn't do before I laminated this piece is I did not score it, but I think we'll be okay. I'll be able to score it um, on camera. I'll be able to score it now that it's out. Okay, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna trim it up. I'm just using my little old one here. I'm lining up this and get this all trimmed up nicely. Hopefully this video won't be too long. I hope I don't lose your interest. Okay, so this is the piece that we've got. I think I can turn off my laminator now. So I'm all done with that. Get some of my trash out of the way. Okay, so let's score this one up really fast. So for this little piece, we need to score it at one, one and a fourth, and one and a half. So since I've already got it laminated and it's already over like a little bit over here, um, yeah, let's go ahead, let me go ahead and I'm just gonna adjust it, just kind of move over. I'm gonna move over a quarter of an inch because of my, because of my laminating that's already over there. Hopefully that makes sense. So remember too, is if it's, if it's a directional print, Let's remember that like this is going to be the back side because I've got this fold over here. It's actually going to be go in here like this so, and then it'll fold over. So we want to make sure that we have the direction that's going to be correct. So we need to flip this one upside down because it is the one inch needs to be over here because this is going to be on the back. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it kind of go over about one and an eighth because I have that eighth of an inch of the laminating. And then to just kind of help myself, I need to make sure I'm seeing correctly. It's really hard to see y'all. It's really hard to see with the clear. Okay. Okay, got that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over one, two, three three and then go over again one two three okay I'll put all the dimensions in the description box below so don't worry about that this is what it ends up looking like hopefully you can see that 
Okay, let me show you how to get this put together. Okay, let's go ahead and see if I can get this folded. And it's working out okay. Just kind of press it down. My bone folder on this because I need to have good creases there and then I've got the one more back here and it's at that one inch mark so I'm just gonna kind of fold on it the best I can okay so that end it has it kind of has got a curve it's just like that. So this will be on the front part. This is going to be the back. Okay, so let's start with our two larger pieces. We're going to need to combine these where it's going to make a spine. Okay, um, if you have like extra laminating hanging over, you can trim it up as close as you need to. I don't really think we're going to have a problem with it coming apart. Okay. So, what I'm using is I'm using, just use a really heavy duty sturdy tape. So, I'm going to put tape all the way down inside where the spine is. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and I'm going to put two pieces. I want it to hold really well. And I think that two will, will actually be perfect. tape. This is folded. Take, this is the front, this is the back, see? So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put these together, combine them. I'm going to combine them. That looks actually, it's going on pretty good. Once you get them combined, Press this down really well, and look, we've made a really nice cover just by combining the two pieces. I'm gonna just smooth it out on both sides so that tape really adheres. We now have our cover. Look at that, y'all. It looks pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Now let's go ahead and attach the other piece. So what you're gonna to need to do is we're gonna put this piece on the, I, I wanna put it on the inside so it looks like this. Let me make sure, let me make sure y'all are seeing exactly what I'm doing. I don't want you to miss any of this. So this piece is actually gonna go right up inside. I didn't wanna put it on the outside. I wanted it on the inside because it's kind of covered with your notebooks and stuff. And that way then it's a nice smooth cover, cover on the outside. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put our tape right here on this one inch piece. Put an extra piece of tape if you want, because you know there's wear and tear on this area. So let's just go ahead and get our tape. Now, the, I made one like as a template when I'm trying to figure out my dimensions here. And I left a little bit of extra of, of the laminating and I didn't like how it kind of shone through. So I trimmed my next one where the laminating was almost flush with the edge of my piece here because I didn't want it to stick out. And I wanted it to look nice, let's just say. Okay, there's two pieces. I'm gonna peel this off and I'm gonna add another one. Just because we have a lot of wear and tear. Okay, let's add one more. I want to make sure we got enough here. Okay, let's get this peeled off. Y'all, this one's going through, a, going together a lot faster than the one I made because I played with it so long just to get it the way I want it. Okay, so what I did is I took, and you're going to want to line up that one inch line along with the edge of 
the back of the notebook. Almost had it stuck on me, y'all. There we go. So let's get this all pressed down really well. Now we have it long enough. It's gonna be good, y'all. I have a little bit of the laminating hanging over. I think that I'll go and trim that. Because I wanna make sure that it's flush. Okay, so there we go. Got the flap on, it's adhered on. You'll be able to kind of roll this forward a little bit. You see it's gonna end up like this. Let's go ahead and put our elastic in. So let me see, where's my hole puncher? Okay, so I'm taking my uh, EK Successes hole puncher and I'm gonna make myself three holes. One of them about right on where the score line is. One of them in the center. And one of them about where the other score line is. Okay, so let's do that on both ends. And there we go. Okay, let's get our elastic in here. Now this, my elastic that I'm using is two millimeter. I got it on Amazon. I can link that below as well if you're interested. And let's remember which way is the top and which is the bottom. So of course this is gonna be the top because it's a directional print. Well, the way I thread mine or lace mine up is I start with the center hole. And I'm hoping that you can see this. Let me get you down a little bit. I want you to make sure you can see this. Okay, hopefully that's better. You're going to start and put your elastic through the center hole. I'll get some un unrolled here. And then you're going to go to the left and you're going to bring it up through the hole to the left. Make sure you have plenty of slack. You're going to go down to the hole at the very opposite end and go down through to, to the outside. Then you're going to go up, back up through the center hole. See, when I make those traveler's notebooks, they're not this big, so I have to gauge how much space I need. Okay, so now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to go back through the center hole. So what I do is I kind of hold my elastic my elastic kind of away from the hole a little bit. That way it gives me space to put this one through. Make sure you got enough. I'm gonna have to give myself a little bit more there. Okay. I think that that will be good. Okay, so now I've went through the middle top hole out from the inside to the out, back through, down through this hole, out to the back, into the front, into the inside again, and now I'm up here. Here's this one. Now I'm gonna take, take it and go back through the other hole, which is to the right. And I'm gonna go down to the other bottom hole. Okay, I gotta make sure I can get through this hole because my elastic's a little fuzzy on the end. I really need to trim it. Let me see. If you have a problem like this, trimming it works wonders. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna, let me go ahead and cut this one off. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go back up through from, from, the, back, from the front inside the center hole. Kind of hold it over to the side so you can poke the elastic through. And there you go. Now, if you need to adjust it a little bit, you can do that. Give myself a little slack. And there we go. Okay, so make sure they're not too tight. You don't want your notebook to curl on you, but make it tight enough. You don't want it to be too loose, so you can kind of judge. 
to tie it off. Now you've got four strands of elastic ready to roll to put your notebooks in. And I tie mine off like three times. Now, you can also, before you put this elastic, if you wanna put some, um, put some little things on here. What are these things called? The eyelets to put on here. You can make put those on there as well, and that way then it kind of makes it look more finished. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna worry about that. So now there we go. Now the next elastic we're gonna put, and I'm gonna put it after I put the folders because I wanna make sure everything is lined up well, is gonna be through this end. Okay, so let's make, let's quickly make the folders, the folder and the notebook. So I've got my notebook, and I'm just gonna do one notebook for the video, for the sake of the video, so it doesn't take too long. So I've gone ahead and, let me check my note show. I've gone ahead and I have cut the paper and this paper, eh, this paper measures nine and three fourths by six and three fourths. I think I'll put, I did two different colors, one's pink and one's this beautiful flowers. So you're gonna just put it on the front and you're gonna line it up with that black strip right there. So I'm gonna put some of my tape on here and put it around all the edges. Hope you've stuck with me, y'all. After we do this one, I'm just gonna make one on camera and I think by then you'll have the idea of what to do with this. And so you'll be able to do the other one. And look at that, I have extra little sticky junk there. Okay, I added some extra. I added some extra there so then it stays nice and nice and straight on there. So get these peeled off. Okay, so what I did after I cut my paper, and before, when I put it on, I just kind of line it up with this black edge. As close to the black edge as you can without not without going over. And just get it pressed down. Look how beautiful that made it. It went from ugly to pretty. Let's do the other side. I love making things from ugly to pretty, don't y'all? Okay. okay I'm going to get some extra tape in here. paper on. Okay, so remember, line it up with the edge of the black on the notebook. If you want to make a whole cover for around the whole thing, you can do that as well. Um, I figure this was the spine part was up inside there, so it's okay. And look at that, y'all! Isn't that sweet? So sweet. Now let's see. I gotta find my my corner rounder because the notebook is cor is rounded. I'm gonna go ahead and round these corners just like this. Do a little bit better job on that one. And there you go, look at that. How nice is that, y'all? And you can put a nice embellishment piece here. If you have a cut apart or something you wanna put on there, 
decorate it up at this time, that's when, what you can do. So let's go ahead and get our first notebook in here. And look at that, fits up perfectly inside there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I went ahead off camera and I went ahead and covered another folder or another notebook. And here's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty, y'all? I love it. I love this paper so much. Okay, so now we're going to make a folder really fast. So what you're going to need to do is you need to cut two pieces of paper and they both need to measure eight and a half by 12. And on one piece of your paper, add some score tape or red tape or whichever kind of tape you want to use right down the center. Because this is how we're going to we're gonna we're gonna join our two pieces of paper to make our pocket folder. Now make sure you you have the tape going up the 12 inch side because this is 12 inch, this is eight and a half. Okay. So you want to make sure it's on the 12 inch. So let's go ahead and get it joined together. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to have to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing, y'all. This is the hard part for me, y'all. Being able to see which way to do it and try to make sure I'm on camera. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I just cover where that tape is. The tape I'm using is a half inch. That looks good. Okay, there we go. Press this down really well. Okay, so now I think that I'm going to make this the inside of my pocket folder and the darker side on the outside. Now we need to do some scoring. So pull out your scoreboard. On one side, on the tw as you see, this is 12 inch. I know it kind of goes off the camera here, or goes off the screen. You're going to need to score at half to three fourths of an inch. And I think that we probably will go a half inch. So let's do half inch. Flip it around, let's do a half inch on the other side. I'm really excited about these, y'all. Now we're gonna need to turn it and just score at three inches. And because it's so long, I'm gonna have to turn my page. So it's gonna flip it over and I'm gonna score it at three inches. Okay, so it looks like this. Now you're just gonna take it and you're gonna fold it directly in half. crease in the center here folded just like that fold it down you could have scored it if you wanted to I find it's just as easy to fold it on where the score line is you're going to fold it up so we're making our folder the pockets for our folder now these little pieces right down here in the corner let's go ahead and chop those babies off we don't need them. Cut this at an angle right here, y'all. Cut the top at an angle as well, up to that score line. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. And then let's go ahead and I'm gonna cut this down and chop this little corner off. I hope that you've stuck with me on this, y'all. This ends up being so cute. Okay, so now keep it folded in half. Let's go ahead from this score line. We're gonna cut down at an angle so we can make a separation for our pockets. So now it's looking like this. Let's go ahead. We're gonna add ourselves some score tape and let's add some right up here on the inside of this flap. And then we're gonna add some on the edge. And then I'm gonna do the other side.
Okay. Now, first thing you're going to need to do is let's fold in our little flaps, get that pressed down, and then take the score tape off. And let's fold this one in. Look how beautiful that is, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and get this one a quick fold. Okay, we're going to get this one folded and folded up. Isn't that a beautiful folder? I love it so much. Oh my goodness. This paper is just beautiful. Okay, get it folded up. And there we go. Look, we have a larger size pocket folder. I love this absolutely so much. I can make another one to put inside. I'll have plenty of space for another one. Check it out, y'all. Isn't it so cute? Look how big it is. Let's go ahead and pop this in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I made it a little bit smaller in there. That way it'll fit, but because my paper is only 12 inches tall, I wanted to have enough of a pocket here. So I think that that still works just fine. It kind of fits down in there. I love it so much. Now let's do one last thing. We need to add our last elastic. So I'm just going to flip this over. And remember, I can put another one right here, y'all. So um, you're going to take off some elastic. Just kind of measure this. It's going to go twice. And just kind of cut it. You'll have to trim it in the end too. Okay, so what you need to do is kind of fold the flap over. And look how that, that love kind of matches up so well. So fold the flap over and you can see where right here, where the edge of it is. And so we want our elastic to be over maybe about a half an inch. So that way it holds this in place. So we're gonna kind of eyeball where we want it so if you fold it over here like this we're going to go in about a about a half inch so approximately about right here just kind of eyeball it i didn't really measure i just eyeballed it just want to make sure that it's going to be where the elastic goes in so i'm going to poke a hole at the top i'm going to poke a hole at the bottom There we go, got my holes. I'm gonna take the elastic that I cut and I'm gonna run it from the inside like this, kind of go around, back up through the hole in the back. And you're gonna pull it, make sure, cause see it's on the back, but we're gonna be able to flip it to the front. it up just like I did the other ones. I would tie a couple little knots in here. Let's trim this off. Okay, so now whenever you close it, it's going to close up like this. The elastic that's on the back flows over and holds it closed. Isn't that awesome, y'all? How cute are these? Decorate it up. I know I didn't go as far as decorating it up and everything, but how sweet is that pocket folder? Make yourself a big clear pocket over here on this side so you can put things in. You will have plenty of space. And let me find, see, look, plenty of space to put things in. And so sweet. Decorate this up, so sweet. So pretty, and oh my goodness, y'all, these will be wonderful. Now, I think that I'm going to have some of these. I'm going to do the smaller traveler's notebooks for craft fair, but I'm going to add some of these in as well, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about these. So leave me a comment below. What do you think? Now, on my traveler's notebook kits, I did $20. 
Um, I know that um, this is, I, I might do, uh, like, okay, so let's back up. So for my small ones, I just did the small, the personal size ones, and I sold them for 10. So I'm thinking that I might do 15 if I just do the notebook and not to decorate it up. Um, or maybe 16, maybe 15. I think 15 would probably be good. Let me know what y'all think on this. Because once I finish decorating all the pages and everything, so if I do small for 10 for the small, 15 for these, and then the Traveler's Notebook hits the, the B6 size, those are 20. So, and they sold like hotcakes. So, let me, leave me a comment below what you guys think about that pricing. Let me know if you think that that's a good price. Y'all, these are so cute. If you could just see them in person, how sweet are they? Oh my goodness, this one right here, this is my favorite paper ever, ever, ever. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Don't forget, I'll leave all the dimensions in the description box below, as well as um, the elastic that I used that I got on Amazon. I'll try to see if I can link that one as well. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys like this. Hope it wasn't too long for you. Um, but anyway, yeah, start to finish, a jumbo size traveler's notebook is what this is. And yeah, I, I'm really excited about it. Anyway, you guys, I'm a quiver rambling on. I hope you guys have had an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.